Okay, instead of waiting, I'm going to jump right into this. Uh, I had prepared, I had prepared, I had intended to make a video about this, but instead I decided to go live. And since um, my other live streaming um, program was not working the way I needed it to, I decided to go live on StreamYard. So since what's going on today globally around the world, and especially in the United States, is so interesting, and every, you know, a lot of people are really getting into homesteading and preparedness and things like that. Um, those of you who know me know that I'm, um, hi, peanut butter, good to see you, know that I'm an avid writer. I love, I absolutely love to write. And um, usually, not always, if you love to write, hi, R5 Adventures, good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Usually, if you love to write, can you hear me okay? I hope so. You love to read, okay? Not always, but I, I love to read. And one group genre, but I'll, I'll be informal. One group of books that I love to read is preparedness. I've been reading preparedness books, which are how to survive um, for ages. I'm, you know, I'm prepared for everything. Sometimes I read them um, and I think, okay, if the end of the world comes, I'm just going to call it a day. Um, but I, I, I grabbed a few and, oh, by the way, I'm going to be dark, light dark, because I'm, I switched up media rooms and this is a window. And so when it, Blows. I have a, a light fan here. It's going to get dark, light, whatever. Um, and I'm going to get darker, lighter, as you can see. But I, I grabbed a few and I thought, I'll just, you know, show you. A, this is going to stay up. This is going to be my video for today. So I'm going to go through, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're in pretty good shape, you know. Um, and, you know, as you know, I'm trying to put up a video a day, Monday through Friday. And um, another channel that is kicking it with Karen beyond sauerkraut. We decided we were going to do this. Hi, all from Scotland. Hi, Mr. Wondering Haggis. Nice to see you. So, you know, everybody's into planting and, you know, things like that. So down the road, I'll probably do... Um, something about planning or something, but I, I want to get into this first. Um, the first one is The Portable Guide to Getting Out Alive, and it's written by Michael Hawkeye, a captain of the U.S. Army Special Forces. I figure anybody who's in the Army Special For Forces can tell me something. You know, it's funny when, when back when you could go into a, whoops, let me go here, a special, a bookstore. They have these sections for women for survival books. Oh my goodness. By the way, if anybody sees everything spicy, I finally am wearing this hat. He put the little, whoop, over here, over here, stick around there for me. I'm wearing it. Okay. You know, they have real fluffy ducky stuff. I thought, I don't want to do that. I, I want to I want to live. And something that is, I think it's in this book. But, you know, on the back, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm jumping topics. On the back, he has things like um, shelter and water, food and fire, tools, whoops, and medicine. Um... Oops, uh, navigation and signaling. And did I leave that book? Where did I put that one book? I'll show you another day. Survival, psychology, and getting out alive. I picked this up for the, psych the survival and psychology. He has a whole book, a whole book, duh, a whole chapter 
There you go, folks. Thank you, Mr. Wondering Tiger. Right there. And I don't want to say too much. There it is. You know, the way things are now and people, you know, are whoops, 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 dealing with things, you know, uh, this about says it all. You got to be ready. Um, how many pages is, is this? many pages is this? You know what? I could make copies of this and send this out and put it on. Yeah, there's not too many. Only 18 pages. I'll make copies of this. Hi, Angela Critters, because that's where he, he puts that right up front. I'm not even going to monetize this. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> but he sees this as the most important thing. And now that we're dealing with some things, I tend to agree. I have to agree. Uh, that's the most important thing because some people just give up. And you know, I on occasion, I don't give up. I just go, oh my goodness, you know. And he has in here things like maps. And I'll tell you, I, I know how to read a map. And I know how to follow a compass. But if you ask me which direction, what is, I, I'm really not that good with directions. I carry a compass with me all the time. But anyway, this is the book. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon um, cheap. I normally don't get books that are um, new. This I can remember this. Uh, Sometimes for Christmas or something, you know, our children would get us uh, gift, gift cards or something. And then later on, we, we would go to the bookstore and get books. These days are long gone. This, I, I know exactly where I got this. I got this when I was working in a school. They had these places come in and, and spread out things. Uh, it was at a Native American school. The Ultimate Bushcraft Survival Manual, 272 Wilderness Skills. I still don't know what bushcraft, little, little. Bush, hi, Susie Bosch. Nice to see you. Thank you. Bushcrafting is. Uh, but I got the book. I honestly, I went right past the bushcrafting. It's 272. Go from lost in the woods to at home in the wild. Now, I will tell you something that impressed me about Hi, uh, Kiki Mercier. They take their young children out every spring. The boys. It's the boys and the girls. Oh, no, both. They take them separate. Just with uh no tools they have to make their own tools and they have to just with what they find around yeah and it's by outdoor life and they have to um make their own shelter and get their own you'd be amazed what these kids do and we're talking not up to seventh grade yet but let's see what's on the back beyond survival you know all of this stuff uh traditional wisdom I don't know too much traditional wisdom. Um, live off the land, how to, how to carve a snow cave. I'm not really into snow cave. B-Man used to make snow caves. I don't do snow caves. Uh, I'm afraid of them collapsing on me. Maybe I've watched too many avalanche movies. I don't know. Um, build a mud oven. Uh, I do know how to make them out of cardboard and aluminum foil. Hi, Amy. Good to see you. Uh, I really, sun ovens, if they weren't so expensive, I would like to have one. But I can do the same thing with cardboard and aluminum foil. Also, um, people usually 
even if you live in a city area, go out to the country, nothing is, country folk are still doing their thing. They're having their yard sales and their, their flea markets and everything. And get yourself an old um, cast iron something. And in the winter or I don't know, fall, I don't know if they work in the summer. I don't know. But our youngest and um, B-Man, well, B-Man, I made the mistake of saying, well, you were a um, Eagle Scout. Why did I say that? Once an Eagle Scout, always an Eagle Scout. Okay. Well, they he became the assistant scout uh, master, and they did this thing in February, cold, cold weather camping. They went out there in the weather, in tents, and camped. God love them, and they survived. Mm -hmm. They had to cook and figure out how to dress. And everything they learned a lot but one thing they did do was they took the crock pots and they dug out down past the snow and then they put hot coals on them and i guess it made really good really good food and people do that i mean i know enough to know how to do it you know i mean when this whole uh uh chicken thing started <laughs> I was prepared for the whole uh, lack of tissue paper and everything else. I mean, I had plans. Oh, I had backup plans. I was following, you know, they say the distribution chain. I knew exactly how people were going. I knew they were going toilet paper, Kleenex, paper towels, napkins, baby. I knew exactly that whole chain and I was right with them, you know, buying right down the road because our daughter was expecting a child, you know, and she wasn't thinking that way. But going on here, yeah, um, I'm trying to see what's in this table of contents. You know, and this, I'm trying to see here. This is, a, I don't know, um, preparation. Begin with the basics. Yeah, it depends on what you think the basics are. And it build your bushcraft survival kit. I, I probably Sweet Pea Farm. Hi, thank you. And hi, Sweet Pea Farm, New York. Okay, New York. You're like me, Western New York. We're in a uh, standoff with Florida. We can't go to Florida, and Florida can't come up here. <laughs> the two governors are at it. I guess I don't know but yeah it's got signaling and uh, water water is a big thing uh, water is a big thing we have um, the straws you know I would like to get the capsules but we have the straws for purifying water not that we don't have a water stash uh, shelter uh, build your own tree house. I'd like to do that. Make a hammock. Survive the desert. I hope I'm never near a desert. Uh, I I have to find. I'm gonna have to. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. I just skip right by the bushcraft. You know, uh, B man knows a lot of stuff that I don't know. He sees more on that side, and I'm more. Um, Still in the first wave? Where are you at, uh, Angela? I don't know what wave we're in because our governor has different parts of our state in different waves, so I, I just give up. Follow the North Star. I would. Bushcraft uses for fats. Render animal fat into lard. That's something I would like to do. Make your own compass. I have compasses in all of my bags. I have a necklace compass. I have um, a band that goes around like a, not a, I can't call it a bracelet. It's a bracelet, but has all these different parts to it. And one of it is a compass. Finding true north, you know, fake bread and ashes. I like to do all that stuff. I'm more on that. Um, but yeah, and I like to get like this. This is something like which parts of the deer you know, some, you know, things like 
bunnies. Like we have tons of bunnies around, but you can't touch bunnies in the summer. They're not good for you um, to, you know, consume. I'll put it like that. Things like that, you just kind of know. But this was, you know, what was that I just saw? This is, this is just like a lot of different things. You know, I really need to know more about bushcrafting. You know, I really do. This one caught my attention. Your complete outdoor life again. Put it up. How to survive anything. And it means anything. North Carolina, more people are positive. I know. Yeah, North Carolina, our son is there. But this means from animal attacks to the end of the world, and it means to the end of the world. I just, I happen to open it up, and I'm not going to repeat what it says. There you go. Haven't read that yet. Uh, South Carolina is saying it's bad. So I'm going to, um, I have not yet gotten to this chapter. I kind of skipped around. Uh you know, uh, and then they tell about what happened to them, things like this. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Um, I think it was Amazon, if I'm not mistaken, put out a really, or has a really good um, this is kind of the book to end all others. This is a really good book. This one here, okay, is the book, yeah, that you really uh, don't want to read, but, you know, you kind of, uh, you know, kind of want to read because, you know, no one's going to tell you this stuff. I, in fact, it is on Amazon Prime. Um, they had um, a whole series that my youngest son and I watched um, about um, being in a mall and different places, a whole series. I don't know if it's still on there. I can, where's my pen? I'll remember because I'm in that mode. Um, I'll remember. But we watched the whole series. It took, it was being in a mall and different places. Stuff that we thought we would never see. And lo and behold, you know, you, you never think you're going to see stuff like that, but, you know, so, um, yeah, this is a really good one. Um, who's this guy? Uh, I mean, if you're married, Tim, Mc, Tim, M-A-C-W-E-L. CH. Let your husband read it. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can tell you. Me, I read it. You know, I tend to be more of the proactive one, believe it or not. Uh, I'm not the rational one. Like, hi, blue, blue wing 777. I'm not the one to be inquisitive or ask questions. You know, no, I don't ask questions. I'm not that person. You know, I'm not. It's nice to see you, Blue Wing. I'm, I'm just not now. I'm not that person. I'm just not. But um, this is a good one. Uh, so, you know, I, I just. Um, I'm not sure about this. I know there, um, you know, I'm not sure about that, but this is a good one. 
Um, I don't know what, if what would happen to me. Hi, Mrs. Naturally Mullins. I don't know if YouTube would like it. If, I don't think I can put the names of these in the, in the description. But you can email me and I'll have them. I'll just write it all up and have it ready to go. Let's see what else I got here. This one's kind of cute. These are all by Outdoor Life. Life. Ultimate survival hacks. Now these are kind of, I find these to be like household things. Like um, really the fun stuff. Uh, oh, worms. Uh, <laughs> like I just happen to open up to worms, but it has like um, how to poach wild eggs and um, how to catch a snail. Uh, on the back here, it has, um, you know, you want to look at your, your jackets of these books. Uh, use, a, make a stove from um, a soda can or um, use your shirt to filter water. You ever think of that? There you go. Use your shirt to filter water. Um, light fires with a crayon. I knew that. Don't throw your children's crayons out. They can be candles. That I knew. I have candles. It's the postage. <laughs> I mean, ex-teacher here. You know, I have candles. I mean, candles. Crayons. Crayons are candles. You can, you, you don't even have to put a wick in them. Just get your, yep, you're right. We'll just melt the bottom, stick them on something, and they'll burn. I mean... That's right. Crayons, uh, dry fruit using a window screen. You don't need a dehydrator. They're nice to have, but get a you know window screen. Um, use bourbon as a bug repellent. What a waste. <laughs> what a waste. Uh, Im improvised duct tape sunglasses. Oh, I don't know about that. House chickens in a bucket. Put chickens in a bucket, maybe. You can use crayons to start an open fire. Could be, Angela Critters. You know, if you have a wood stove or uh, something like that, and you have a dryer, okay? You have a dryer. And you, you use eggs, okay? Then you save up your dryer lint. And, you know, over time, you get your egg carton and you put your dryer lint in your egg carton and then you um, pour wax over it. It can be crayons. It can be uh, old wax candles. Yeah, I know that, Angela. Yeah, that's true. Um, pour wax like old candles on there or something. Crazy rooster. <laughs> yeah, okay. And um, then slice them up, you know, so you have those little round things. Great fire starters. Great. Best fire starters in the whole world. Cotton balls. Get, yeah, that too. Yep. You never, never, never throw away old candles. Never. Nope. And, you know, if you don't want to buy wicks, use, um, what is it? Uh, something every household should have. And uh, our half acre homestead told me, you know, I, I'm where I start to remember where people tell me that butchers, uh, re butchers thread, butchers. Now, I don't remember it, but apparently back in the old days when you went um, um, to buy your meat, when they would cut your meat up according to what you wanted, they would wrap your meat in, um, hi, Sky Howl, nice to see you. Thank you for stopping by. They'd wrap your meat in that wax brown paper and then they would tie it with the butcher's uh, thread, not thread, string, butcher string. Everybody, you should, when you have a little extra money buy that butcher string you can use it for anything you can use it for um 
um, for candle wick. Yep, sure can. Mm -hmm. You can tie it. It's very strong, very strong. But I like this setup because it's 200 over 500 and just goes through the pages. See, 68, 67, 68. So it's kind of a whoops, fun thing. You know, you just kind of go through. You know, if you're looking, it's a New York Times bestseller. So it's ultimate survival hack. I like, I like things like this. Partly cloudy, 420 high. Yep. Melt Vaseline on a tin, then dip cotton balls in it when needed. Fluff the ball up. Yep, good one. All these hacks. Yep. So, and you know they have a they have it separated out here for like things for the wilderness. Yeah, ultimate survival. I'm gonna go back through this. I only picked up a couple. They have it um, sorted out into like um, disaster. Or, um, yeah, mostly disaster. Candle outages, budget survival solar panels. Wow. Those solar panels are expensive. Boy, wilderness, you know, and homestead. A lot of this stuff, you know, whenever this stuff happens, they want to, they, they're just sky high. I don't know why they do that. You know, yeah, but this is, this looks like a, not just a fun one, but, a, a, you know, like it could be alcohol friendly, you know, I don't know. I would, this is one I would get just, just for fun. Okay. This one I absolutely love. And you're going to go, why, why, why? In fact, this is one that's kind of hard to find, but I found it. I'll tell you why in a minute. It's the craft of the country cook. And it's by Pat Hiss. From A to Z, over a thousand recipes and food ideas. I'll tell you why I love it. It tells you how to cook everything in the world. I just went to onions. I'm going through lamb. Here, look at like if you have a lamb, the parts of a lamb. Okay, it is a good book. It's um seven hundred and some odd pa pages. And any book that has an index is my friend. Okay. It's a very good book. Uh, it's got squirrel. It's got rabbit. It's got pumpkin seeds. It's sausage. Paling sausage. You, you find anything. Drying food. Indoor drying. Outside. Pig's feet. I'm just reading things as I go through. Um... Frogs, uh, what to do with uh, a white fricassee, fricassee of frogs, frog soup Italian style. There you go, folks. Um, I'm telling you, it's, it's, if it lives or if it's goose, gelatin, or if it's a, a, a leaf, grapes, ham and bacon, and heart, any animal's heart, herbs, herb recipes, ice creams, jam and jellies. It's got kitchen utensils, lamb and mutton, uh, lettuces, lungs. I didn't know you could do anything with lungs. Maple syrup, all kinds of meats. What you do with milk, mulberry, noodles. You name it, nuts, it's in here. Onions, all different types of onions. We planted onions, by the way. All kinds of onions. It's how to cook. It should be named how to cook anything. Hi, Mrs. Things. Nice to see you. What's the name of the book? It is The Craft of the Country Cook. Okay. And it's by 
Pat, P-A-T, and the last name is K-A-T-Z, Katz, Katz. I got mine from Amazon second or third hand. Yeah, because you're not going to find it, no. Uh, turnips, vinegar, cucumbers, fishy squash, turtle soup. I should well, I won't say it. I don't like those. Well, a book on weeds and plants are safe to eat. Yeah, I got one of those floating around here somewhere. Squirrel, steam cooking. I'll tell you, succotash. It, you name it, seaweed salad, seaweed soup, if you live by the ocean. I'm telling you, it's got every single thing. Now we're getting into, okay, this is this is my, I'm telling you, my go-to. Oh, good, partly cloudy. Oh, Amazon, you can tell the, the chat where it is. This is one that is, is deep. Oh. One of my favorites. Dare to prepare. This is the fourth edition. I don't know if we have the fifth edition floating around by Holly Drennan D O D R E N N. Hey, what's that on A N? D-R-E-N-N-A-N-D-O. Yeah, she's, oh yeah, those little cards say earthquake and atom bomb. Now, in this book, she's, she's, she, she's got you prepared for everything. I'm telling you. And where to go. For each scenario, water main breaks, fires, uh, meat and poultry processing water, uh, yield of dried vegetables. I mean, it's very um, detailed. Hamburger, beef, jerky. I never know you could make jerky from hamburger. Anybody know that you could make? Hamburger, jerky, preparing minced meat jerky with a rolling pin. I just, I guess if you have a rolling pin, you can do it. Hamburger, beef, jerky. Okay. Yeah. Yield of dried. Now, this is interesting. It tells you, it's a chart. It tells you how much, how the yield of dried vegetables. If you dry your vegetables, how much you're going to get from them. Okay, so stuff like that's in here. So she's going to tell you, oh, mixing your colors. I don't know why you would want to mix your colors. Uh, um, soaps, making your own generator. I wouldn't try this, but how to make one. Okay. I'm telling you, this book has absolutely everything. She didn't leave anything out. I guess if you're desperate and you have to make a generator and you have the parts, you might want to try it. Remove spaces. Okay. Um, making colloidal silver. This is the the big chapter, personal care products, uh, oxygen observers. I use those. Um, I'm telling you, why we should store fuel. She, she she's got the technical, um, like here. When I was talking about the solar oven, she's got how to make yours. Everything is so very, very technical. This one here, it's dare to prepare. And there's her name. 
there are several additions. Um, I'm sure one addition is just as good as the next. I've gotten a lot of information out of here. Yeah, it's, it does. It's it's almost too much. And again, like most prepping books, it's got an index. You know, any book that has an index is my kind of book. That's a lot of work to put in an index. That tells you a lot about a book. Uh, oh, fake Iraqi. Yes, perfect. I have to keep going. Uh, and here she's got all your uh, equivalents for uh, converting local time to all the different times, uh, candy temperatures, hours, things like that. Just looking. Bird flu descriptions. Good. Pandemic severity index. Oh my goodness. How to make emergency candles. I don't know. She has everything. It, it's a it's a deep book. Um how to make this is really interesting how to make a safe room i don't know what it's safe from in your home i haven't dealt in this chapter i'm usually in the chapters of the food preparation and stuff and you know stuff like that so uh yeah it does you know there are there are probably smaller books that deal more with um um very interesting she has the man on there look at that you know i am um, like you could probably get smaller books that deal more with um, dehydrating and stuff. Hi, Jen Floss, free spirit. Nice to see you. Um, my final book, I don't even remember where I got this book. It has, I honestly don't remember. 7,845 useful skills and step-by-step -step instructions. I'm telling you. All right, you ready for this one? It's huge. It's survival, wisdom, and know-how. And it's by, it's from the editors of Stockpole Books. What I don't like about this book is that the print is very small and the paper is very thin. Very, very thin. Um, however, whoops, it has a lot of information. Um, It has like common North American mammals, tracking behavior and ranges. Whoopee. You know, we kind of know what's here. But then it tells you, um, it'll help you identify plants, whoops, that are in your area. We have, um, I can't think of the name of the books that have uh, the birds and the um, plants that are in our area but it has like uh, again it i'm still in the same chapter i've gone up maybe 10 pages identifying trees which can be helpful because you know as far as maple syrup um what this one here what's out of print blue wayne well, you know what? Try um, Noble Books or Barnes and Noble and try. Uh, sometimes if you just Google the name of the book, 
it'll come up in, I think it's Al, Al, hmm, A-L-B-R, A-L-B-R-I, or something like that, or A, yeah. But this has a lot of stuff in it. Um, it. It just has a lot of stuff, but it's just, it's so much. Like, um, you know, if you're looking for something specific, you're going to find it in here. But it's so much stuff that in many ways, it's kind of like, you know, too much. Like, here's a whole chapter here on this. Whoa. Like a navigation, you know, how to find where you're going. But, you know, check out the website, Eat the Weeds, Eat the Weeds. I will. Ooh, okay, I sure will. Thank you. And, you know, it's just, it was... It was, I had this one and then the other one, the same size is about lost crafts. And I only got that because I thought it would have some unique crochet afghan, or not crochet, but crochet and knitting um, patterns. So I don't know if it does or doesn't. I have to check on that. But, you know, I mean, if, I don't know. This is something, I guess, if you didn't have anything else, it might help you. But it's just, I, I, this, if, if this would be the, the absolute, hi, Still Scrap Kingdom. Nice to see you. This would be the absolute last book I purchased. It really would. I, 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 I don't know. And the last, hi, Erin Gamer. And the last book I looked at, it really would. I, I don't find, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. It, it just would. I, I think for today, in fact, I probably would next time I'll bring more books on planting and homesteading and things like that. I think anything that helps with, um, planting, well, everybody knows how to plant, you know, in containers or something like that. Uh, but it's still comforting you know, to read about it. I find it very comforting to read about it. That's just me. I don't know if you do or don't. Um, those are, I still get um, several magazines a month, some bi-monthly, some every month. Um, because many of the Homestead magazines have up-to-date monthly articles about beekeeping. And so I find articles in there about what's going on with bees. A lot of pets are again. I know, Kiki, I thought I know about that. It's a shame, isn't it? And the cats actually are getting it. It's the cats that, you know, are the ones that are really just like, the ones that are able to get it easier. Hence the lions in New York City. The tigers, the lions in New York City. That lineage. Yeah. You have to protect your kitty cats. Um, yeah. They're the ones that are getting it. The kitty cats. Not the dogs, the kitty cats. So, you know. But I had heard that, you know, with people losing their jobs there is you know pets like horses and different especially the larger animals that people can't afford to care for they're just abandoning abandoning their, you know what i mean giving them up inside today so it's making it bad really bad however oh two more things i was going to show you um, something else that I have is my trusty radio, you know, which is, this is one of those that, uh, works by, works by battery, battery's going here. Oops, 
it'll work by blog. Some is taken. Okay. Well, it'll work by USB. USB goes in here. Okay. Um, it'll work by wind up. Here's the wind up. And it does work that way. Oops. You can wind it up for power. And this is the solar that way. I, I tried all these, I really did. It will charge by solar. So this is really good to have. Uh, it wasn't that expensive. I don't remember what it was. I can tell you it was well under 50. Well. Um, Oh, oh, Doug. Oh, I'm sorry, Angela. Did you keep them? Yeah, these aren't these fun? Yeah. So you can charge it, you know. And then over here, this is a light. Okay. And this will also flash that red for help. And on this side, it charges. So, you know, you can either um great they didn't hurt. you can either um charge this with batteries uh your usb plugging it into your laptop i don't know why you would want to you can crank it up or you can use the solar and i have tried all of those ways and there are the NOAA weather alert is on here. So for your area, you just find out, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. You, if you wanna know what your weather is, you know, NOAA will broadcast if um, you're gonna have severe thunderstorms or something. I'm so used to my telephone going dead. You know, that sound it makes telling you that something's coming. Hey, as long as it works, right? And um, I use this a lot. And it'll work. The solar will work. And you can crank it up, and the crank works a lot. So, you know, and when I do use batteries, I tend to use rechargeable. And um, it does have two bands for, um, this is the weather band, but it does have two bands for, um, Oh, short wave. I've never tried those. And then I have this little one, which is a short wave radio. Um, and this one only works by battery back here. Okay. Um, because this is the only short wave radio I have. Really? Oh, oh, well, we, we don't get hurricanes up here. We're very fortunate. We have never had a hurricane, um, a tornado, uh, same manufacturer. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is the Elite by uh, Keaton or whoever. Um, yeah, and it has um, snoozes and all that stuff. But um, because this is, I use this, depend on this as a short wave. I and I will use, oh, you're in Florida. Okay, I don't know if I'm ever going to be allowed to go back there. But um, I will, I do have two sets of like Duracell batteries that I keep for this. And then I also have, um, how can I say, hi, um, RG Homestead, nice to see you um rechargeable ones but i do keep one one good set just so that i can um you know in case i want to know now has anybody oh and also there's a spot here for the if i want to use electricity help you know how's that gonna work well i don't i don't know i guess if there's 
electricity. But I like, I don't know, sometimes I will just use it to be sure I know what I'm doing. Um, I'll find, like I have a slip of paper and I keep inside the case. Um, but now in North Carolina, okay, Mrs. Things, you know, like I'll look for um, news in China. We do have those RG Homestead. Um, I was studying, we were studying for the exam. I kind of slacked off because they closed everything. Um, but I'm starting again. I haven't even called to see if the place was open. You don't have to pay anything. Um, except you are able to use it. You just can't do anything except listen unless there's a national emergency. I mean, is this a national emergency? Are we in a national emergency? Anybody know? Are we in a state of emergency? What exactly are we in? Well, we have those. Uh, and I also, um, you know, everybody thought I was crazy, but I also have a CD. I don't have a, like a eight, six wheel or eight wheel or whatever they call them, but I always wanted a CD radio. So I have one, you know, and my thing was, why can't I just put it on the table and talk to people? You know, well, I, I just always wanted a CD. You know, now I don't have the antenna attached to the home. I would get more if I did. I have like a really nice magnetic one. Hi, Zombie Slayer Hunter. If I had a, um, one on top, it would, I would get a lot more. Um, you go up and down the road, good local item to have. Yes, you go up and down the road, you can see the antennas, people have them, you know, so, you know, yep, but we have those, and, yeah. do you, who has an RG, do you have your license, they say the test is really easy, can't be rocket science, you know, uh, can't be that hard, Oh, blue 777, you have your license. Okay, was it that hard? I know. Hi, Rolling Homestead and Wild Edibles. Good, how are you? Do you have your ham license? Did you get, I know Rolling Homestead. You didn't get level one. You got what, level 10? <laughs> okay, RG, what level did you get? No, I, I know you got, you all didn't get level one. I'm going for level one. Basic level one. I'm like, I have a flashlight. You know, I had one of those flashlights um, that you crank up. I just went through all my survival books, Mark. You have to go back through, well, not all of them, some of them. Some of them were really good. Okay, Blue, and, you know, I, that's what I was doing, going through my prep books. Not all of them, trust me. But um, some of the ones that I thought would be interesting. Um, I didn't like that flashlight that you cranked up. Or one, working on level two, okay. All right, I'm going to hang at level one. I don't, I looked at level two and I thought, man, I don't need to. I'm going to stay at level one. Okay, bye, Blue. Blue Wing, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to stay at level one, you know. Now, as far as I would really like a nice scanner. Hi, get her done, Granny. Nice to see you. I would really like a scanner. I've just been using the one on the phone. Right, like a nice scanner. Really would. I really would. That's something. Of course, you know, what can you do? You can know what's going on. I wonder if they block the ones on the phones too. Anybody know? Hmm. Now, Mark, with those um, with those 
scam radios. In an emergency, both of my scanners totally, really, Granny, I'm using the one on the phone. You have to email me and tell me what kind you have. I like one. I have a CB, but I just put it on the table. I don't have a truck. Everybody thought I was nuts. We want a CB radio. Why can't I get one? I don't need a truck. <laughs> I just wanted one. You know, why not? You might look at that's a, that's a single side band radio. Why, you know, that's the thing about the boulders, RG. Why would I want to know about boulders? Why would I want to know what the boulders are doing? Why, uh, this, you know, we used to have, I used to have a really beautiful, oh my God, my boat. <laughs> Think about it. Um, oh, my boat was gorgeous. It's still gorgeous. Um, and we, you know, I knew we weren't going to use it anymore. And so I, um, I shipped it to our daughter and her husband. Yeah, but why do I want to know? Well, you mean, yeah, international radio. Yeah, okay. You mean just get, yeah. Yeah, I hear ya. I know. I don't, I, I don't think I miss my boat, but it's still a nice boat. It's a beautiful boat. I mean, mint condition. There's not a mark on that boat. I had, I had that boat shrink wrapped every winter. <laughs> Cause it's boat is immaculate. There's not a, there's not a speck of lint on the carpet. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you don't have a ham radio. Are you just going for the license? Well, what do you have? You have a CB? What, what do you have? You have one of those SSP. I like that idea, RG. Hmm. I'm going to recommend that to our son-in-law, too. Because we have to have something. In fact, during hurricane, was it Katrina down there? Whatever that hurricane was. That's what they used to communicate to the folks in Puerto Rico. Um, really? Do I, need a license, do I need a license for that, RG, that um, thing you were, that radio you were talking about? Huh. Or I can use a ham radio license for that. That sounds like fun. Oh, I can use a ham radio license for that though. Level one, right? I'm not going past level one. I mean, that that's about it. What? What do the truckers have for those CB radios? Maybe I, and Granny, what kind of scanner did you have? Was it just like a tabletop scanner? Because I'm just using the one on my phone. And it will, like, I can hear, like, you know, to hear like what's going on different places, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Oh, Kiki, you must have them. Oh, expensive. Well, I don't want to go there. Oh boy. Really, Kiki, what are you you're using the same thing, one of those boat things? Hmm. 
Okay. I don't I don't want to meet people around the world. I want to know what's going on. I don't you know, I want to know. Well, I don't mind just listening. I don't necessarily have to talk to people, you know. I just I just would like to know what is going on. And, you know, most of the time you can find, like I find on my shirtwave, I can find channels in other countries that are broadcasting in English. So that really helps, you know? So I'll listen to those and I learn a lot that way. That helps me. Oh. I see. I'll we'll have to go back and look at this later, RG. Hmm. All these licenses. I should have got one of these things years ago so I could have been grandfathered. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to end it here. It's 11 o'clock. And I'm going to to have to get outside and do some stuff. It's it's only going to be 100 here today. 80 something I think it is. So everyone that came through, I thank you. And um I have to think of something for tomorrow cuz I am dedicated to this. You too, Miss Things, Mrs. Things. Now that um cafe is playing games. <laughs> She's still playing games over there. You know, that was our meetup place. He's just, every time I, I see him, he's PS4, PS4, you know. You too, Granny. Granny, if you still have my email, can you please write me? I can't find your email anywhere. 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 Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is, RG. It definitely is. And for those of you that missed the beginning, you might want to go back and, and run back through and see um, what books I um uh... Oh, yes, Kiki. Go outside and enjoy the day. Just, just enjoy it. He's gone ghost? No way. Oh, I'll have to catch up with him on Twitter. He's usually on Twitter or Instagram. Okay, everyone, I have to go. It's 11, but thank you so much for stopping by. And um, you too, Granny. I'll see you all on YouTube. Okay, take care. Thanks again. Bye.